so I updated the game. Um, ooh, look at all this stuff. Um, let's turn the mouse sensitivity a bit higher. No. Um... Okay, so I've updated the game, and the actual reason why I'm doing this is not because, um, just because it's an update. It's actually because, um, I don't know, what should we have as the seed? Random. Got a random seed. Um, the reason I'm doing this is actually because I want to test something. And that thing which I want to test is console command. I can't actually type another letter. Oh well. Um, the reason I'm... Let's not enable intro sequence, shall we? You know, let's enable it because I haven't seen the new intro sequence. Um, the reason I'm doing this is actually because I never really see many people actually doing console command videos. Um, oh. Oh yeah. I never really see people doing console command videos. Um... So I thought I'd do this because then people actually know how the console command the console commands and how they actually work. Uh, ooh, it's more realistic than previously. But I don't want to. No. no. SCP-173 <laughs> no thanks. There seems to be a problem with the door control system. Uh, the door isn't responding to any of our attempts to close it, so um, please maintain a direct eye contact with SCP-173 and wait for further assistance. Actually got a little FPS thing in the corner. I, I quite like that. Things aren't still aren't showing properly um, in the darkness. I don't think. Oh, oh. he's gone. One more that noise stop. Door looks slightly pink now. I quite like that. I like that. I don't really like that. It's a bit, a bit rubbish, really. Um. Oh, these noises are scaring me. Um. Right. Now. Take a look at these console commands, shall we? Ooh. Right, first let's type in god mode. Nice. Now we shouldn't be able to die. Um. Teleport to rooms. That is extremely convenient. Um, uh, because something else I'm doing. 173 speed, ooh. Default is 35. 173 speed. Um. Nah, let's not do that one. You know, let's do that one because I am supposed to be showing all of them. Uh, 173 speed will make. Uh. 5. 7. So it's 5 times 173. No, bad grammar. Um. We've got God Mode and 173 Speed enabled. Ooh. Oh yeah, the lock room. Oh wait. There's a door here. Then. Probably a door there. Pretty cool. Uh, nothing's on the screen. on. Is there going to be anything on the screen? Apparently not. Um, oh, here we go. Okay, anything on the screen? There we go. That's how you get through that, that room nothing in there, probably because we've decreased uh, <laughs> 173 speed so much. Um, ooh, a bit dark in here. A little bit dark. And the same room again, that's, that's disturbing. 
Ooh, I like this room. Now, um, let's take that. Take you. What's this? I guess we can't do it because our inventory's full, maybe? Oh, yes, it is. Get rid of the battery. Um, take you. Okay, let's have a look. What? No. No. <laughs> Not yet. 173. 895. Let's take a look at this. Because, um. Interesting noises. Special containment procedures. SCP-895 is in a se is sealed, closed, and stored in an isolated underground containment cellar to depth of approximately 100 meters. No cameras, microphones, or other surveillance equipment may be brought within the 10 meter red zone radius of SCP-895 without express permission from at least two level three personnel. Description. SCP-895 is an ornate oak coffin recovered from the something something mortuary by SCP personnel on a certain date that we do not know. Following reports of unusual footage captured by the surveillance equipment installed at that location, upon attempting to open SCP-895, agents on location found the object empty. However, observers viewing the live camera feed Observers viewing the live camera feed were data expunged. Until further notice, SCP-895 must be must remain closed at all times. SCP-895 causes disruptions in video and photographic surveillance equipment within 50 meters similar to vivid disturbing hallucinations with variable duration and regularity corresponding to the camera's proximity to SCP-895. Within a range of 5 meters of, from SCP-895, Footage captured can cause severe psychological trauma and hysteria in most subjects. These disruptions do not extend to observers physically, uh, I presume. It's about to say physically in the room or whatever. Um, right, what else have we got? We got the SNAV 300. Um, what we'll try and do, since we're in god mode, we're going to try and explore as much as we can. I'll probably put them in several different episodes though. Chance I will never see 173 again now because they've lowered his speed. Usually he's there. Or. Or there, I suppose. It's so dark. Hang on a sec. Let's take off this. Still pretty dark. Um. Let's, let's increase. Let's um. Let's increase the 173 speed because we're not actually seeing him. So I presume we've made him too slow. We'll, we'll double his speed to 70, shall we? Um, 173 state, 106 state. I think that's probably turning it off status. Um, room, room three tunnel. Okay, coordinates. Cool. Stamina 100, blink time 170.914. That is an SCP we're actually looking for. Um, that was a scary, scary noise. Level 0. Level 0? Is that supposed to... Oh, I think I know what that is. Um, I'm, I presume that's the actual dimension. Uh, the other dimension being the pocket dimension, which was relatively recently added to the game. Uh, that's related to SCP-106. Oh look, you can disable and enable at 173 and 106. What's 173 state? Let's have a look. Position. Thousands of blocks away from... What? Thousands of meters, I presume, away from us. Um, idle. Zero. State. 1.0. I, I don't really know what that means. What's 106 state? Oh, state. Also thousands of blocks away, so we'll be safe for now. Um, well, safe anyway, because... Because, you know, we're, we're not going to die, because we're God now. <laughs> um, so we'll try the disable commands in a bit after we explore some more. Oh, this is the new SCP! Yes! Yes, oh yeah. We found the new SCP. I forgot. Oh, 
Is he broken loose? He's broken loose. That's now he'll start to follow us. He can't actually kill us. I'm guessing that noise is the SCP. Was that there before? I'm actually not sure what the new SCP looks like. Um, but I know it does cause blurring vision effects and that kind of thing. Oh! All creepy noises. Um, I have also... Um, I can get rid of that. Why can't we take it? What the hell's going on? Is it that we... Oh, that's kind of interesting. There we go. Um... Um... 372. That's the new SCP. Object class Euclid. Special containment procedures. SCP-372 is to be contained in a cell 4, 5 meters by 4 meters by 2 meters lined with reinforced plexiglass. Embedded into each of the four walls of this cell is will be one infrared motion detector. In the in the event of a containment breach, an alert will be sounded that all personnel should watch for any brief flickering moments in the corner of their eyes and report immediately if one is sighted. Description SCP-372 is a creature of unknown genus approximately 2 meters long from the head to tail weighing approximately 45 kilograms. It has a long, thin body and 8 pairs of narrow limbs. Analysis shows it's, that its muscle fibers are redacted, allowing for extremely fast and, pre and precise movements. Every part of the body is abnormally flexible, and the limbs are coated in small fibers that cling to almost any sur solid surface. In place of eyes or ears, it has data expunged. This sensory organ is capable of not only echolocation, but also of detecting energy transfers such as the electrical impulses in brains of nearby beings. SCP-372 learns to time its movements to those faulted, predicting the movements of any being around it. It uses this technique to hide either behind, either behind, what the hell? Either by hiding behind the head of a person looking for it, or by hiding in their scotomas, blind spots, and saccades, uh, clipping during eye movement. I hear something. I'm going to ignore it. I'm going to ignore it. SCP-372 first came to attention of the Foundation on... Uh, we don't know the date. When an undercover agent working at somewhere reported seeing a creature that resembled the described hallucinations of one of the patients, Mr. Someone. After thorough investigation, SCP-372 was captured via Redacted, and it was... Uh, uh, and it was determined that it had, for unknown reasons, been torture, tormenting the unfortunate patient. Yet yeah, confused him pit by period of the following. We can't read the rest, probably because I put it in the wrong resolution or something, haven't I? Um. Right. Also, I think F1 sa Oh, it does! F1 saves the freaking game. All this time we have problems with saving and that kind of thing. Um, is level 1 alright? Do you accept level 1 keycards? Ah, uh, well. Yeah, I have heard of this glitch, or seen this glitch, um, great big solid things that are there for no reason, I, I don't know what well, that's all about, I presume this is the same stuff again, ooh, scary noise, 
doesn't even matter that we're not that we're not gonna die. It's still freaking scary. Right. What was this? 860. I don't know what that one is. Oh, it's the it's the key. Object class. Safe. Special containment procedures. SCP-860 is to be contained in a small wooden box in a vault at Sector somewhat, some, some, blah, 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 something, that's what I meant to say. By itself, the object is inert and no further containment procedures are needed. Description: SCP-860 is a dark blue key of unremarkable shape at the seemingly random, in, blah, 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 random intervals. A time series of numbers later found to be UTM co coordinates will appear on the key's blade. In the time SCP-860 is spent under containment, the numbers have changed three times, given the coordinates for something Germany, something England, and site something. SCP-860 can fit in any door lock. It requires a key, located in the area of the given coordinates, and will function identically to the key for that lock. SCP-860 only works on door locks, and if they are attached to a... if they are attached to the... the and only if they are attached to a door, it will not work on any type of other locking device. Any other type of locking device. When SCP-860 is used to unlock a door, the door does not lead to its usual destination. Instead, it opens into a small forest clearing centered on an 80 centimeter wide footpath. Designated SCP-861. Every observation of this grove has noted the presence of blue colored mist. Uh, it probably goes on to state how all the, all but two people who have ever gone into there have never returned. Some of them... Oh, these noises are really starting to freak me out. Oh, electrical center. Can we enter? We can. We can. With our level one key card. Mm -hmm. I wonder what's in here. Anything of interest? High voltage. Okay, let's not die. Um, there's a lot of high voltage things. Very nice attention to detail, isn't it? They've got an electrical room and everything, even though this probably doesn't do anything. Um, strange though how SCP-173 uh, is supposed to be moving twice as blah, 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 twice as fast, but actually hasn't come anywhere near us yet. That's interesting. Ooh. That scared me. That was um, SCP-079, I believe. Primary lighting on. Secondary lighting on. SCP-079 is predicted to be the one that's actually turning these lights off and stuff. We haven't seen him yet, but, but if you look at the monitor screens, then he's the one, presumably he, he is the one that actually causes uh, the lights to be... Oh! That's not scary at all. 106. Uh, 079 is the one that causes all these doors and stuff um, to close and open and lights to turn on and off and that kind of thing. Um, and it's also a face you can see on... Um, Okay, we'll check this one first though. Also, a face you can see on. Ooh, oh, 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 I want to see this. What is this? 086? 087, in fact. Um, it's also a face you can see, let me finish my sentence, um, on monitors and stuff, like in the lock room. Um, oh, yes! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I believe um, that that SCP just then said, you are not getting out, um, SCP-682. This isn't in the game yet, but it's going to be added. Object class, Keter. Special containment procedures. SCP-682 must be destroyed as soon as possible. At this time, no means available to SCP teams are capable of destroying SCP-682. Shut up! Gas! Oh my god, those... Gas things are kind of loud. 
only able to cause massive physical uh, massive physical damage. SCP-682 should be contained within a 5 meter by 5 meter by 5 meter chamber with a 25.4 centimeter reinforced acid resistant steel plate lining. I've lost my place. Why have I lost my place? Fill. Oh. Lining all inside surfaces. The containment chamber should be filled with hydrochloric acid until SCP-682 is submerged and incapacitated. Any attempts of SCP-682 to move, speak, or breach containment should be reacted to quickly and with full force as called for by the circumstances. Description. SCP-682 is a large, vaguely reptile-like creature of unknown origin. It appears to be extremely intelligent and was observed to engage in complex communication with SCP-079 during their limited time of exposure. SCP-682 appears to have a hatred of all life, which has been expressed in several interviews during, during containment. See at addendum 682b. We don't have that though. SCP-682 has always been observed to have extremely high strength, speed, and reflexes, though exact levels vary within its form. With its form, SCP-682's physical body grows and changes very quickly, growing or decreasing in size as it cons consumes or sheds material. SCP-682 gains energy from anything it eats, ingests organic or inorganic. Digestion seems to be aided by a set of filtering gills inside of SCP-682. 682's nostrils, which are able to remove usable matter from any liquid solution, enabling it to constantly regenerate from the acid it is contained in. SCP-682's re regenerative capabilities and resilience are staggering, and SCP-682 has been seen moving and speaking with its body 87% destroyed or rotted. In case of containment breach, SCP-682 is to be tracked and recaptured by all available mobile task forces and no team fewer than seven members are cleared to engage at the date attempted breaches have numbered at. Um, we can't get into this room yet. Because there's no button. Um, so let's go back. Um, Yeah, one of those glitches again. Doesn't look like there's anything in here yet. Nope. Oh god! Oh Christ! Thanks for that, 079. Uh, I presume it's 079 anyway, it's doing the... the hell? We weren't here before. Were we? No, we were... Maybe we were in there? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, look at that. Look at that bump mapping, that's beautiful. Shut the door again. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, good. You didn't show this time. Dr. Maynard, Dr. Harp, there's no one on that door, and Dr. Gears, hello. Ooh. No, I put 173, not 453. 1, okay. 1, Seven, three, one. Okay. Oh, they're all they're all locked in that way by the look of it. Huh. Another one of these. Um, I wonder why there's so many of these. Oh, and there's another one. This is getting confusing. 
And there's a third, um... And there's a fourth. And now we're back to the first one again, I presume. Oh yeah, look at that. 173 is moving extremely fast now. Come at me, bro. Oh, that's right, you can't kill me because... Because I'm in god mode. Ha! Ha! Ha, why is it so blurry anyway? Ooh, ooh. Yeah, that's right, go. What are you doing? You're doing like a little shuffly dance. Oh yeah, let's do the SCP-173 shuffle. Not a very good song, but a very good dance though. Look at, look at that, look at that speed. Look at that speed, mate. Now, you wouldn't really like it though, would you, if I, if I decreased your speed? No. How about... You know, actually first, Let, let's move in, let's move in, Let, that's not fair to put in there, come on, round here. How about, I decrease your speed, eh? Okay? Oh, that's right, you can't move anymore, you can only rotate. Sorry, mate. I actually feel kind of sorry for him now that I've done that. <coughs> yep, yeah, cough. If only you could change 106's speed as well. Why are there so many of these friggin' rooms? Oh, this is starting to freak me out. There's too many of them. Not going in there. Those rooms are boring. These rooms are boring. Why do they even exist? Du, 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 du. Okay, um... Are you serious? I'm correct. This is gonna be. Oh! How have we done that? That's amazing. Why <laughs> doesn't have very good stamina? Let's try the right this time. Let's stick to the right. Shall we? Woo. Go in this one. No, I want to get... I don't know why that that's pink, but... This is starting to annoy me now. These repetitive rooms. Have we picked a really bad seed or something? Clearly the seed, random, is just an awful seed. Quick, before 106 gets us. Uh, That's annoying. Um, is there a command that enables you to give items? Um, don't really like it. Teleport. Right. Let's move that. That's a shame. Because when we did find a room that was actually different, we couldn't go in. Serious. Okay, this is really starting to annoy me. Okay, we've probably been. 
Oh, hear yeah, those footsteps? They could be that big lizard. What was it 682? Okay, this is starting to annoy me. 